Yo, I ain't gonna cap. I've been waiting on this one since J Main posted the picture, bro. Or since I seen Sean Cotton post the uh the story of them talking about I'm really from the bottom or whatever they were talking about. I don't know, whatever, whatever, right? The first time I said this before, the first time I heard an English, bro, was probably a couple of months ago, probably like last year in November, bro. And I'm playing GTA. Uh, RP, you know, we end up cooking up, and um, one of the 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 homies, I guess, went and put some some music on TV. It was Anglizzy. The first thing I hear him like really notice that he say is um, I might drop the clips too if I got it. The first thing I hear him say is uh, something about duck, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Who is this? Or some some shit, bro. Like, what the fuck are y'all? He like, oh shit, I forgot you from Chicago. And after then, I'm just I just started seeing him diss niggas from the city, and I'm like, bro, what's really the issue between him and people in the city? No survival. Duck got hit with a switch. Cash got caught with a bitch. No J and Jill suck a dick. And buddy ain't hot as shit. What type of shine this nigga on, bro? So I guess they linked up and I seen that J Main posted a picture. Ain't nobody like that. Yada yada yada. So I'm like, man, I can't wait to see this interview. Hopefully, you know, after this is just is over with. Even though I did see and Glizzy say he ain't gonna diss people from the city no more, or whatever, whatever. Hopefully that's true, you feel me? But I hope y'all feeling good. Hope y'all feeling great. Couldn't wait on this one. Uh, let's get into this. He was to it though. Oh shit, here we go, man. I had to bring everybody together. It's like the Avengers, man. I got Aunt Glizzy. I got FYBJ, man. I don't know what Rainwater got to do with this, but, you know. I got Rainwater. Whole new episode, man. It's gonna be crazy, man. I appreciate y'all boys for coming through. No problem. I appreciate you for coming through, Rain. Let's I know it was last minute, um, but shit, and Glizzy, I had to beg you to leave, man. I had to beg you to, to leave DC, man. I don't leave the house. I don't be nowhere. I don't go nowhere. I don't even know how I'm here, but I'm here. It, it happened. I don't know. It's like it's like paranoia, though, kind of like. Definitely. I don't be nowhere, but I don't know. I don't just. I don't know. Last time I was outside, people died, bro. So I just got like a weird. What you mean? What you mean? The last time? The last time you was outside? Last time I was outside, like my friend died. Like, it was my best friend. He died. I probably ain't been outside since that. Like really, like been outside or been away. And last time I was out of town, my friends got shot. a lot be going on with me, bro. In my yeah. life, my friends got shot up down the lane and shit. So. But I think you're. Yeah, his ass traumatized. He feel like once he step out, that's a bad. That's a bad ass feeling, bro. That man, every time he step outside the door. He feel like some bad thing to happen, so it's best to stay in the house. I feel like I, I don't really think I can, but I understand. I just feel like it's just better. It's just better right here. It's just safer right here. It's just less drama right here. So he just put up and he just making videos and getting paid. That's where he feel the safe at. Lifestyle is different now. It is, but my mental, I'm still there. Like my, it changed. The it physically changed, but my mental ain't changed. I'm still like I deal with. Bro, I be in the bathroom more than I be. Anyway, y'all know that I be smelling nice in the bathroom. I be dealing with demons, bro. I be going through shit. You be in the bathroom? Yeah, like I lock myself in the bathroom. I don't want to hit none or nothing. I just gotta be fighting shit. I be fighting demons and shit, bro. How it smell when you lock yourself in? There? Yeah, nah, it do hit different when your bath. <laughs> do your home. No time. You I said fighting demons in the bathroom. Do your homework. I'm picturing turds. I'm not let's in. The, I'm not up. in the Section Eight bathroom. I'm in the suburbs. Okay, let's start. The up. toilet is far from the door now. I came up a long way. <laughs> the toilet, the bathroom come with a closet. That was kind of cool. So wait, explain. So randomly, you'll be chilling, and then you just run in the bathroom. I ain't gonna say I run in the bathroom, but that's why I get my pee. I, I got like dogs, a girlfriend, and a phone that just ring all day. I cut my phone off. I got a chair in my bathroom. I just sit in my chair in my bathroom and I just. Why are you not investing in tax liens? No, sir. See, he he taking to another level talking about the bathroom. And it's crazy because I had tapped into one of his um his uh lives and he was in the bathroom. So I don't know. He probably did that. Or he probably trolling. I wouldn't never know, bro. Chill, bro. First of all, Bay ain't opening this bathroom door. She not. They, Bay don't come to the bathroom, dude. She nobody comes into the bathroom with you. I'm just in there chilling, bro. This is how I get my peace, bro. No phone, no nothing. I might got the phone, but I ain't doing nothing on it. I'm scrolling through it. I'm just trying to get my mental back in my day. I, I'm just thinking about shit because I'm dwelling on shit. I just be. I wake up every morning, like every single morning, feel like I was on a roller coaster. Feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Like I got morning sickness. Like 
some some shit that I just deal with my whole life, bro. I don't know. I just be sick of shit in the morning. Like the first five minutes of me opening my eyes, I be sick of shit. It don't be like I got used. It don't be. I don't know, bro. Just be a weird ass stomach feeling. I've been through some shit, bro. I've been through a rack of shit. I think you think people want to kill you, but I don't. I don't see it that way. Like on the internet, you 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 respond to so much negative feedback on the internet, but then there's there are a lot of people who like you too. They love who you are, but you don't give them that same energy though. You only respond to negative shit, and I see that shit every day. I use that shit to boost the numbers though. But we're not. But why not respond to the ne- to the positive too? People don't want to. People see don't want to hear no positive, positive shit, bro. People sitting right here talking shit. about positive shit. Nobody viewing this shit. They want to hear that ignorant <sighs> shit. Fuck your mother, yeah. your grandmother, <laughs> whatever. Ooh, I pull up, roll that motherfucker right now and blow your ass out. They want to hear that shit. They like your sale ticket. But I'm only saying that because you said you fight demons, but that's because you keep the negative shit. Nah, fuck no. Sean, you sound like a therapist. Yeah. Sean, yeah, that's, hey, that's crazy J. Mary said that because I don't feel the same like shit, but Ang Lizzie really started this shit, though. Like, he coming on here letting some shit out. He ain't even asked me about none of that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, Sean just basically saying, though, you inviting that energy. Like, ignore that energy. I get that you ain't got to, like, really, really go off all the way on the negative shit. Sometimes you can just pop pop in there with the positive and address the positive people so you can just be like man today i don't want to receive that shit i want to receive this shit so i can feel good yeah, yeah no yeah, for real yeah, yeah. Dick, almost a therapy shit right now yeah, like, 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 i'm next like you can go down the line yeah, yeah. So now what's your problem like yeah. i ain't got no fucking problem let's start there only problem i don't got no nah, yeah. i ain't got it don't be that though i ain't therapy. i ain't got no it ain't got nothing to do with the internet it's just my life bro shit that i've been through shit that i've been through how can I explain it? This is it how y'all doing out there? People go to the shit. military and come back. You know how they be fucked up in the mind? I ain't trying to lose myself, bro. I done been through shit. The military don't put you through. Like, I done been through shit, though, bro. I got bipolar, schizophrenic but, mother. Talking but, about, like, crazy, crazy. Like, the worst shit in my life just be going on. I be trying to deal with that shit. But that's why I told you on the phone, you was like, man, it ain't even about the money. I don't care about the money. I made this much on YouTube this month. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, I'll come down for free, but like, it was it was bigger than that. It was something else. Keep and I'm like telling you, yo, you gotta live life. You gotta you gotta move around and see shit. You can get away from that trauma, but you gotta move first. And it's like you wanna stay in. I mean, you're not in D.C. no more. You're in Maryland suburbs. But still, how are you gonna get over that trauma if you won't go to Miami, see the palm trees, see the water, touch the water? Damn, I am on some therapy shit right yeah, now. Hey, hey, let go. Hey, let go. Hey, let go. Hey, let go. Hey, some real shit at the end of the day, bro. It needs to be, he needs to hear this shit, especially if ain't nobody telling him, because I under, I understand, like, where Sean coming from, and he right, bro. Like, but I know, and Glizzy, on the other hand, like, man, the moment I step out and try and go see the water, feel the water, all this shit you talking about, Sean, such and such gonna happen. And that's just how you feel. But there, there's some deep shit, low key, already, we only four minutes in. I just set the fuck back. I just set the fuck back. And I stopped right. thinking about like real deep life shit. I forgot about the interview and all that. I'm like, damn, he is really touching. I'm trying to think about ways I can help your problem. I'm about to share this shit. Like, I'm gonna start leaving the house, y'all. I'm gonna start. You're right. You're right. Like, damn. You right though. You right, bro. But you, but no, but you got off the flight today. You hopped in the car. You said, damn, it feel good. It do. It just feel. It just ah. First of all, first of all, let me just hit it. Tell you. I'm going to an interview and you said Jay May gonna be there. I'm coming. Why am I coming to see Mr. <laughs> Wu? I'm coming to over Wu. Hold on, so that's how he got you out here? That's how he finessed me though, man. Look though, man. Look though, that's man. How he nah, I, I can really hit him with this. You wanna know the answer, God true? Okay. I thought it was a back door. Okay, that was good, <laughs> I had an interview planned for the day, right? Right. I watch you, I follow you. I sent to his phone. Why does it say he about to be in Texas the same day I'm about to be in Texas? Mm. You threw up a post. Dallas, I'm pulling up, such and such. I sent it straight to his phone. Y'all got going on over here, man. He said, who gonna be here? I said, who gonna be I said, J. Man gonna walk out of the back room. I ain't saying I ain't got no problems. Well, just let me know. I just want to know. <laughs> like, man, you know it's all good vibes, man. Then he got his third shit. Man, it's all positive vibes, man. We like a team. We gonna, we gonna. When you built your online. Hey, I ain't gonna care. And Glizzy do say like, he like, maybe not by, bi- yeah, like bipolar a little bit, but like he. He not capping about what the fuck he just said, bro. And this is my first. I did see like one interview, like you know the little clips, a couple of clips. I ain't gonna say just one, but he didn't seem like this. But I just want to know, like, why? What's the reason behind all this shit? It's like gonna be great content. His dissing shit. His hold on, shit. Hold on. His dissing shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on. Why the fuck you thought it was a back door? I'm I'm pushing the piece. I said you disrespecting Mama Duck. 
Let's start there. Nah, I seen nah, your ass nah. over whooping on, on, on King Yellow and disrespecting ah. DJU and disrespecting the whole Chicago. Ah. I, I know something wrong with you, bro. Ooh. I'm here to give you your medicine. Let, let, <laughs> let's start there. Ooh. Let's start there. I'm here to give you your medicine, bro. You been disrespectful as hell to the whole Chicago. Now, what, what the fuck you got to say for yourself? First of all, because we we pushing a positive message to these folks. I know something wrong with you. I'm here to give you your medicine. A fool for that with the whoops. And I think he's still like just addressing some shit. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Kids, and they be seeing Aunt Glizzy out here over whooping. And they like, J Man, what's up with him? He he over whooping on duck? On duck is crazy. All right, since you're right, we is pushing peace. This one gets us a million views right here. We pushing peace. <laughs> So, 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 <laughs> you gonna put the gun down? I put it down. I put it close to you. You can have it, you can have it close to you, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm fighting cases. Slap that motherfucker back to you. Right. Let's start there. <laughs> let's, let's, let's start there. Bro, he funny as him is a fight case. But look, why? It's probably a prop. It's the internet. Well, let's just say it ain't a prop, bro. Why do people play like this? What the fuck? Well, he said he's gonna get us many views. It's all about the views. They do everything it's just about the views. It just be crazy. Yeah. It's mine, sleep. Let's look. start there. Let's start there. You good? It's mine. Yeah, this whole motherfucking time I ain't no hell pills in this damn pants. Hold on. <laughs> Carry it, carrying yeah. it like, yeah. like Chicago yeah. is crazy. I brought it on the plane with me, bro. I got a license. It hit different when you got a license yeah. for the whoop. Yeah. It hit different. License to carry is crazy. I'm not a fella. Now look, we pushing this piece. It hit different. You all on the internet. What you, why, why was you going on Mama Duck, bro? Now, Mama Duck, she wouldn't want to see me up here with you. It's a lot of people ain't going to like this Ooh, shit. I didn't think about that. Let, let's about start that. there. <sighs> Let me get into it. Oh, do I get aggressive or do I like, I don't know. You got cut. First of all, he gave me the therapy shit. How the fuck I'm going to go from that to that? It's like, I can't even turn up. I just was like, damn. Man. Life story to like, damn, now he really me. It's like, huh, I'm in the hot seat. Let me get it together, y'all. Breathe. All right, Mama Duck. How the fuck did I get into a Mama Duck? King Yella. King Yella said some shit like, D first of all, it's all started from King Yella. Mm. King Yella. So we putting this on Yella. All right, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you my, from my point of view, I'm going to show you how it went together so it can kind of be an understanding. King Yella said, DC guys in jail are homos, and my homeboy Aunt Glizzy ain't going to like that. He said it on the platform. He put my name connected to it. He could say DC guys something. He said, my homeboy Aunt Glizzy ain't going to like that. So everybody sent it to me, so now I got to come defend DC, right? I don't know how to go at those Chicago guys. I don't know what Chicago guys do. Guess what Chicago guys do? You know they diss the dead? That's how, that's how that dead should get in it. That's what they do for a living in Chicago, right or wrong? Yeah, that's how we woo. So that's how I gotta fight y'all back with y'all own fight. I just, I don't know duck, bro. I don't know nothing, boss. I don't know 63rd, bro. I... That's what just make it worse. Trolling or not, he never even looked into him or nothing. Or nothing. Just like how people don't like the, the Charleston White shit with the... What the Vaughn shit, bro? I'm just like overly confused what he just all because Yellow said like he got offended by Yellow Yellow saying I'm just still I just still feel like it's just it's for clout, bro. I don't think that's enough to to say fuck the dead, bro. Especially if you ain't even that type of person, you don't know nothing about him, bro. Now if he if it's just no reason. It's no reason. I ain't going. I've never been to Chicago. Dead my life, bro. So why is you disrespecting these people, bro? Because they talking to me like I'm just a pooper. I be strapped. Wait, wait, wait. You got into it with King Yeller. How the fuck do you go from dissing King Yeller to getting into it with Duck, bro? I Duck thought Duck was a, his man. That ain't got shit to do with him. Duck, Duck dead. Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Exactly, bro. That's some serious shit, though. Like, that ain't got shit to do with nothing. Why you just say come at yellow, bro? It's a lot of shit you could. It's as funny as he seemed to be, bro. He could have just came straight at yellow. Him going at duck is fucking crazy, bro. You can move them around. Yeah, bro. I don't know that. Duck ain't got shit to do with that. Do I know that? It, you gotta know. I don't. That's why the woo man is here. I'm telling you. When you when you getting into a king yellow, bro, don't be dissing for them. For them ain't got shit to do with that. Right. You you putting that. And, and put it like this. In DC, do y'all go put it like this? In Iraq, certain time when you, when it's a real when it's real niggas involved, niggas getting into it with that nigga, that person, all that. Yeah, fool them. Yeah, I'm into it with all y'all. Bro, you done got into it with the whole Chicago. The whole Chicago is crazy, gang. It's a lot of ass. 
<laughs> and you and you think it ain't the back door, but do you know how many people I got outside? You know how many shots I got on me? <laughs> now look, I seen I seen That's the whoop. Just that, the whoop. I got another man. I, I right seen there. folks. I, I seen you. folks. I seen. I'm just the, I seen the guy. How many cars you think I got outside? I'm just telling you, I wouldn't walk I'm in. I'm sixty third. I got sixty three cars outside. You I done got sixty three shots. You I got got probably 63 got my cousin Lil, Lil Reese. My cousin Lil Reese. You know him? They got three hundred shots. Oh, I gotta go there. Side, you wanna know what's crazy? I can call Dirk on FaceTime right now. Call Dirk on FaceTime. I ain't gonna call do that Smirk. though. I'm not call, gonna do that Smirk. though. I can really call Smirk right now. Call Smirk. I'm not gonna do that. Hey, so his ass need to push the, the piece the too. Cause guess what he gonna say? His ass bogus. Guess what he gonna say? What he gonna say? You right there on the couch with Jay Maney. You ain't do what you supposed to do. I just what, try to man. What you supposed to do is crazy. Yeah, cause they gave me a certain myself. amount of money. Like, nah, Jay Maney worth more than that. You gotta give me a million to do that to him. <laughs> I need a million. I'm like, hell no. Nah. How much Dirk gonna give you? It's crazy cause I think Jay Maney dead ass is. I could just feel it. I just feel like he really dead ass serious and, and Glizzy really just like got a little fucking child running around in his head or something, bro. Say Dirk, but somebody that was close to him, they tried to give me a little 35. I made that today. 35 is That's crazy. all. I'm like, man, I'm not about to over. I ain't worth more whoops. than that. You how much, you think, how that? much you think I'm worth? To That's knock a, you off? Yeah, right. Knock me off right now on the couch in front of the cameras and at all the people. Fuck <laughs> you said a you million. Worth. A million to you get your ass. A million? Not me, though. I wouldn't do it. I'm talking about a <laughs> random nigga, first of all. I would, do you not know I can make a million dollars? Me and you kicking it on YouTube? Why the fuck would I want to kill you for a million? That's not, I don't want to kill you at all. First of all, I'm happy to meet you in person. Hi, my name is Anthony, my real name. Let's start that. Let's start that. Let's and can I buy a box of hoop on camera? <laughs> you gotta on camera. Now look. No, I want that box. I don't want to hear the excuses now. I got 150. I'll go up the price, whatever it is. Okay, $100. now look. At the Harriet Tub, you see I got on my Harriet Tub and die for this shit sweater. Do I got to go there? Let me get nah. a box of hoops. Harriet Tub and die for this shit, bro. Nah, I'm a black man with my own whoops. Nah. And Glizzy is raising the price of these whoops right now. One fifty. Should these go. whoops be one one fifty? Yeah, can I get on? Can I get on playing with a box of cereal? Yeah, Harry Tumble just sold no. one fifty. Can I, I get on playing with a box of whoops? I, that's no get back, bro. <laughs> Why I can't get on playing with a box of whoops. <laughs> you can't get on no playing. Why you tell no <laughs> get back? I'm just telling, bro. No get back. He can't get his money. He can't get his money. I can't get on playing with a box of whoops. No get back. It ain't bro. nothing in the box. No, no get. No get. <laughs> Open the box. I don't like the way you acting. This nigga silly. This nigga act Glizzy silly as hell, bro. Like, first off, he talked fast. Even though I'm keeping up, that's crazy as part. But he talked fast as hell. Motherfucker is silly, G. Just them two just talk about nothing. Just randomly talking is just silly as hell, bro. Ooh. See? You over whooping. <laughs> invisible whoops. Come on, y'all. was a scam. No. It was a scam. This is my new invention. He been scamming. Bro, yeah, this yeah. is my <laughs> new invention. <laughs> <laughs> See how he's sitting there playing J Bain is dead serious. I know. I can just tell, bro. And I ain't never seen J Bain serious before. But he dead ass and Aunt Glizzy is on child this shit right now, bro. Oh, God. This is my new invention, bro. Fuck no. <laughs> this is my new invention. So you never bro. had nothing. Oh, and you left this box in Miami. This is that same box you left in Miami. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> do your, let's start there. That don't smell like Ocean Drive. Do your own work on this. Ain't the Ocean Drive whoops. Let's start there. The Ocean Drive whoops. Uh, somebody told me Lil J them got them. I can't let's get a box of whoops though. Now look, bro. I'm sorry to Mama Duck though. Can I apologize to her on the camera for you? Apologize to Mama like, Duck. That's right. disrespectful if you don't. That's right. right there. You right with Mama Duck. We push a piece. I got a mom. She bipolar, schizophrenic. She be tripping and all that. So I understand. I'm hard. I'm hard on mom time. Only reason I don't even know why I did that. Maybe a little bit of clout. Not a little bit, gang. Not a little bit. You ain't have to expose the black man serial, bro. Come on, bro. God damn, bro. A little bit of extra. I true mom time. Only reason I don't even know why I did that. Maybe a little bit of clout chasing with a little bit of extra. I truly apologize to you. Personally to you, like to you. That was just like from a YouTube channel and all that. Yeah, J Main got up on me. Put the vicious uh J Main 63rd press on me. Right here, I'm shaking in my boots. I truly apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Told y'all it's these whoops. But, and these bitches invisible right that's now. Crazy, that's crazy. Right that's the idea on me not leaving with no whoops. Sean, that's the that's the most the people, deepest right shit there. you ever seen on your, on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen I, I I salute you for that. You apologize. That was big. That's big. That was big. That's big. big. What we doing? What we doing? As long as as long as he mean it, bro, that's solid, bro. Just, I believe um, Mama Duck could be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that was big. Y'all yeah, thought we I was in here not pushing peace. I told my therapist before big. I came here, though, y'all. Hey, so this is, what, this is what I need you to do. I need you to go when we leave here, turn your gun into the, the police department, oh, get yeah. these guns out the streets. No, why would I turn them into the police department? I we need to get these guns out the streets. Yeah. Man, when you going to apologize to Shaq Glizzy? Who? Mm. 
That's another thing. Let's man. start to push the piece with Shaq Glizzy. Who you going, Glizzy? How you going, how you going to apologize to some out-of-towners, but you got people that you grew up with? That... Fuck Shaq Glizzy. We ain't on no Shaq Glizzy shit. Why you even bring that name up? See, they're going, all right, where he go? He's talking about Shaq Glizzy. I ain't do that. He's talking about Shaq Glizzy. Push your piece. Push your piece. What? Break that shit down. You know I'm from the right, bro. I don't know what's going on. I see you got Glizzy in your name. He got Glizzy in his name. I don't know what the fuck the Glizzy came from. I just know about the Glock. Let's start there. This, is, this is what happened. I took him forward, nigga. I took penitentiary chances. He did some sucker shit and he blew up. I blew up on my own time. I can't really say that. That's incriminating, but just I don't know. Just say me blowing up. I had to. I had to damn near die a couple times for me to get this fame, though. I had to go through near death experiences to get this shit done. Mm. Off the hate, just off the, cause who I am, who I really am. So that's all. It's like it's personal though. It ain't even no. It's no beef. It's just I literally wake up and use it. All right, I was in a game. I left it. They don't pay me, they don't get no money, that name ain't worth nothing. I just use it for the little, he can't even use it for money. I use it for money. I just own, the stock that I own in it, I just use it for money. <laughs> like this interview, fuck Shaq Glizzy, that don't, you know what's go up, y'all. Your favorite rapper's a bitch. But we ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Shaq Glizzy was beefing with, uh, them in the rack back in the day. Yeah, I seen Shaq Glizzy uh, whooping like that, oh, bro. Yeah. But put it like this, this, this 2024, bro. Nah, this is this a new age. We on we on some different type of time, on bro. This piece like, shit is crazy with me though. Like, we overwhelmed with the piece. No, right I now. understand the piece. I enjoy the piece and all that. But like, do your homework on me sitting down with Tay Savage and he shot at me. I had to come sit down with Aunt Glizzy. Let let's start there. Makes sense. Ain't ain't been no no extra shit behind this. If I can sit down with Tay Savage, I can sit down with Aunt Glizzy. Why is they overwhelmed? I bet you you won't walk this motherfucking box in O block. In the O. I walked them to the, the barn, man. Let's start that. But they ain't like that, so I, ain't, I can't bring these you to the O. Do your homework on about they, you. They I feel like about everything you know I do is disrespectful, bro. Do your homework on J-Man trying to do that something right. That was disrespectful. That's not disrespectful, to bro. To me, it was. This is a Stop the Violence serial game. You you from D.C., you so you can't even really. As long as long he was, came off disrespect, well, they just think he trolled him anyway. So they, they going to think it's trolling. I mean, he, he being disrespectful, even if he really didn't even mean nothing about that shit, bro. But. You don't, on that you don't want to hear what I'm saying. Let me tell you what I'm saying. Let me tell you what I'm saying. Let me tell you what I'm saying. That's your problem. I'm not in Chicago business. I'm not in Chicago business. I'm, business. Chicago business. I'm just about to tell you. You're in Texas right now. Bruh, they put. We, bro, they put it's bigger than. It, let me tell you like this. They put some money on your fucking man and you took him a fucking box of cereal. You should have took him his fucking head. They put money on my man, bro. Put it like this. The other man told us that. Who? The witness dude that you be with. That I be with. What's his name? FBI Butter. FBI is crazy. Let's let's start there. His name is FBG, bro. Let's start there. Y'all y'all be over whooping him. Let's start there. Now look, Butter got on the stand, but he ain't tell what you think he told. All right, I'm just here to tell you. You don't have to get on the stand at all. But look, <laughs> let me tell. Do your homework on getting what they call that perjury. Nah, expedited. Is it called <laughs> expedited? Perjury. It's close. It's close. It, it, nah, the, the other word that they make your ass go to court. Do your homework on them making your ass go to court or your ass getting locked subpoenaed? up. Subpoenaed? Subpoenaed to court. Yeah. Do your homework on them subpoenaed, I got subpoenaed. I got, all right. So, I, but LBG Butter got suspended. But back to the part where you say motherfucker put money on my mans and I bought their ass a box of wood. You did. Bro, let me break this shit down because I see you still small minded. A, a P in that big ass head is crazy. I am. A P? Look, let me break this shit down. This shit bigger than me and you, bro. This shit bigger than the than what meets the eye, gang. This shit bigger than Duck. This shit bigger than Vaughn, bro. Y'all supposed to slid, bro. Y'all this... supposed to got back, bro, on my mother. You don't know what happened. Hey! You have enough things on your- Hey, I'm fucking with this interview, bro. I'm fucking with it because despite what everybody probably thought on that post, J-Main dead ass is, bro. Like, I know I said it already, but he just keep getting more serious that he addresses shit like, type shit like his name is FBG, bro. The FBI cut that shit out. But back to that other goofy shit that you just talking about. You small man, your ass tweaking. I'm here on some serious ass shit. And he still, you supposed to slap. Da, da, da. But to him, he missing the whole fucking point of what J-Man even trying to get at. Or what's the whole point of the situation, bro? Like, they ain't been new that shit or some shit. I don't know, bro. But I'm fucking with it because it, it came out way different than what I expected. I expected him to low key be on Aunt Glizzy level with it, but he on some like serious shit. Like, bro, this shit gotta stop. What the fuck is you doing? Why the fuck is you speaking? You know what I'm saying? And respectfully, though. You just, I think you just 
It's all respectfully. That's what I fuck with too. Bro. Just slid, bro. Then, Y'all supposed to got back, bro. On my mother. You don't know what happened. Y'all you just quit talking. turned into you YouTubers. Just, I think you just talking. I think you just talking. No, I'm just saying. Y'all I mean, that's how you. That's ain't that how you get paid? Yeah. <laughs> I think you just talking. Yeah. I don't got? think you know. I think you're from DC and you don't know shit and you just talk. You just talk. No, I think no. Chicago changed the world. I think y'all made every city worse. Yeah. I agree with that. I feel like the new but Chicago niggas, wave got watered down because the YouTubers. When this shit just was Chief Keefe and the Drill Rappers, that shit was 100% gangster. To, that shit got watered down. But to put the, it like this, to preach to the youth gang that that's what motherfucker pulled to do it. slide. All right, motherfucker go slide out the dug and what they gonna do after them niggas die? Somebody from that side, they gonna slide. Bro, it's a time that motherfucker gotta stop that goofy ass shit, bro. It hit different. Do your homework on Trenches News taking a stand and taking everybody else to jail. Y'all was supposed to stop that. Did you do your homework on Trenches News telling on everybody? It hit different. Do your homework. I just feel like this. First of all, when I like when I see the six of that shit, like Jamie, I don't be, I don't pitch you with it. Like you literally came out with your own little creation and shit, like your own shit. I never really seen you in the videos or you like until you blew up and then I stopped paying attention. So it's like when I say 63rd, yeah, you from there, but I'm from a whole nother region, bro. I'm talking about what I learned from the internet. I'm not really in there. I'm just saying from the internet, outside looking in. Before them diss songs with all the such and such, such, such why the fuck y'all ain't push peace then? No, he wouldn't have never died. All y'all had to do was say, we gonna push peace now. Why push peace after two people died, the top ranked ones? Y'all gotta go to war so about look, this look, shit. Look, 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 first of all, this shit, let, let us go back. If you think only two people died. My thing is, all right, whatever type shit there, bro. Uh, he's saying that, but this shit will never end then. You know what I'm saying? This shit will just never end. I be wishing like people could push peace early too. When when they young, because the, the youth is in the streets tweaking, then they get older, like J Man, and then their brains start clicking, and they, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, that shit dumb, or whatever. But if the youth, Figure this shit out as the youth, which j Man and them trying to do, is move it to the youth so they can push the peace so it can actually be peace. When the youth get it together, then it'll actually be peace. If the youth don't give a fuck and they still don't bullshit, it'll never be peace, bro. Um, It'll never stop with what Aunt Lizzie's saying. Like, y'all supposed to slide, then like he just said. If we slide, then they gonna slide, then we gonna slide, then it'll never stop, bro. But now we willing to take the L. If they willing to take the L, and we just want to let this shit go because we don't want to lose nobody else. Nobody else. Had your ass dumb. No, I'm talking about to the slow. public. I'm talking about to the public. Let us go back. If you think only two people died, your ass dumb. No, I'm Confused talking about to the slow. public. I'm talking about to the public eye. The bro, do you know how many niggas been dying for years and years? And bro, it's a lot of families and kids and, and mothers that's tired of that shit, gang. Motherfucker can't keep whooping like that. I understand that. Bro. Why the fuck you think that shit okay, bro? I'm not saying you're saying okay. this shit on TV. And, yeah. Oh, it's time to slap. It no, is. it ain't, gang. It no, is. it ain't. It's time to sit the fuck down and go to church. Fuck now. Nah. Let's start there. If Duck was my man, bro, I swear to God, bro, I'd be fucking O Block up. They trying to cross the street from there. I realize I go shoot over there every day. I don't get fucked, bro. Every day. I would have pushed peace when Duck was still here. No, nah, I don't got no kids. So if you ain't got kids, then you ain't got nothing else to live for, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess not. If you feel like you ain't got nothing else to live for, then that hit different. You see what I'm saying? It's like different. And I'm the type of niggas that's in jail, it's like in But the I street. think you got a lot to live for. That's why you sitting up here with it's J. Like J. Man in talking. The, it's like it in different. the streets and not. All right. Let's start there. On you right here with J. Man. If you started you're out. you preaching the wrong shit to If you world. start. I'm not preaching nothing. This, this is what real preaching, niggas. Man. Anytime a nigga talk with a real platform, bro, we don't say cheese right now. Bro. You telling these niggas to go slide. If my homeboy, if if my homeboy right get the gun. You making them, the young niggas that's watching this, whoever from St. Lawrence, Lawrence, who, who can easily get mad fuck, bro, think. I right. he think we a bitch. We finna go handle that shit because we ain't no bitch. You right, J Main ass tweaking. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna hit they hard if they not strong enough, bro. And they gonna be like, man, fuck he fucking right, man. Them niggas ain't they, they took duck in. Just shit like that, bro. And this shit crazy, bro. Gun down on camera in front of everybody. We're gonna kill them niggas. We're gonna kill them niggas' mother. That's how I'm living. If I'm in the street and I'm a street nigga, that's how street niggas living. That's YouTube, how street niggas YouTubers live. might not be on that. Okay. Cause I'm on that. Break so are you a YouTuber down. or a street nigga? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. A, you, I'm a YouTuber. Hmm. So you can't... I ain't in no motherfucking videos dissing no nigga dead homies with no hundred niggas and guns. Go find one. Hmm. Them niggas hundred niggas deep, guns dissing dead homies. They ready to go to war. The other side start killing and shit froze. Niggas, this what happened. Nick. Filing your tax return is different. His ass crazy, but he just, I guess because he don't got a hundred niggas in it. Bruh, this motherfucker video should, this interview should do some numbers, bro. Like literally from, from zero, zero one seconds, bruh, this shit was 
off the chain, bro. Filing a state. Niggas knew they could die next and they wanted a new path. That's how I feel. I'm just keeping it real. Niggas knew they can die next because the shit, the niggas they looked up to die is like, hold, oh, they can get the pawns if they got the king and the queen. I know they can get the pawns. Y'all became YouTubers, we pushing peace. Nah, nah, this ain't got nothing to do with you. You wasn't in them, them videos, I'm not talking about dumb. I'm talking about the guys that was in them videos jumping around with them guns like, we ride and we slide, we with you duck. If you shoot, I shoot. And then when he die, they don't shoot. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Put it like this. <clears throat> A lot, like I keep telling you, gang, a lot of niggas died way before Duck. Do you understand that? I understand that. Do you, do you really understand that? Because yes. it's like, I, I figured like, you was just one of them niggas that was watching this shit on, on the internet. Now you feel like, I right, Duck was the first big motherfucker. That, bro, it's, bro, ain't no one soul. That's why I be telling my ain't no little eyes, no big use, gang. Every, when these other shorties die, when niggas, niggas die in Chicago right now, I'm still telling niggas, go put them guns down. Stop whooping like that, gang. It's, it's a nigga probably getting shot while me and you all have, having this conversation. And you still telling the motherfuckers to go shoot. And he don't even know at Glizzy. Well, he probably do know, but Duck, I wouldn't say tried to push peace, but he did with the Chicago legend. He did really was on before he got killed. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo type shit. Like, I ain't finna, I'm, we Chicago legends. I'm finna bring the whole Chicago and put the Chicago legends together. I believe Duck really did have good intentions about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then he came out with Dead Bitches. I guess cause, I'm just assuming because of what the song he said. Niggas basically kept dissing type shit. And he couldn't just say, all right, I'm gonna ignore that shit and keep this, this, this route type shit. But ain't nobody just start pushing peace yesterday. The duck to me and I asked. Like they said King Yellow was trying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Slide, go slide, go slide. I ain't telling my fucking go slide. I'm telling with. duck men go slide. Y'all, that shit ain't over with, bro. That man dead, bro. That man died for that game, bro. On some gang shit. That game gotta do something. That game, bro. That now, so you talking to the gang members. Be, bro, be direct. I'm talking don't, to the don't gang members. Kids. How the fuck your okay, homeboy died and some of them go testify and, and co cooperate with the police. Because in Chicago, some go do what the fuck, Because these kids is the gang members. First of all, work. if I I'm a, if, get confused in the if I was, kids is the game if I was if that. I was trenches news or if I was butter, I'd be dead. I can't do that in my city. I can't do no more interviews. I can't do none of that shit. That shit is over. I don't got no platform to talk on. I don't got nothing. I don't got no viewers. I don't got nothing. That shit over. Shit a rap in my city. A nigga go take the sand. Fake change his life and all. I ain't dealing with them niggas. Them niggas dead out here, B. This just the real world. I'm talking about this street nigga shit, bro. Y'all act like y'all ain't got the guns in the videos jumping around like fuck niggas dead homies. Y'all forgot about that part because a nigga died. Now y'all can push peace. Fuck y'all wasn't pushing peace that week. Hmm. The, the peace came out of the death. The peace came out of the big homies died. I think the, the peace, peace ain't came come out of the small so, fries. So many deaths. I no, think it came the out of so, so no, many deaths. No, fuck no. The peace came out of the duck. Duck is too big. And duck can go. We all can go. That's I, where the peace came from. But okay, DC's probably the worst it's ever been right now, right? And then you got, you talking to somebody who's from Chicago. Both of y'all share the same trauma. It's just different cultures for real. But my whole thing is, bro getting that, yeah, Ritter Ritter go slap. If, if you telling this to the gang members, put it like this. My grandma be in that same motherfucking street that you telling them gang members to go slide in. When they hitting them innocent motherfuckers and glizzy, remember you telling them motherfuckers, go slide, go slide, go slide. It's a million. How many motherfuckers finna watch this interview, bro? How many, how many souls is you infested with that bullshit you be talking? You wrong, Aunt Glee. Do your right there. Do yeah, your best right wrong. there. How am I wrong? Shit. Tell them to go slide. We're gonna take care of them kids. I ain't, say, oh, them I ain't say till nobody go slide. Them gang members that's in his game once your curse. You said up, butter them. Butter them need to go hop out a motherfucking free car with a Draco or a switch. Nothing less than a switch. He, he just got caught with a And this was crazy. This was <laughs> I can't even hear right here, water, bro. That fucking audio low key low as hell, bro. Home, he home. It's gone. He home. Butter. Less than a switch. He, he just got caught with it. And this was crazy. Uh -huh. This was. I didn't know him. He home. He he home. Butter home. got kids. His baby mama already died, bro. His ass need to go to fucking the house Church. and take care of the motherfucking kids like six hundred breezy ain't doing. Job. Let's start that. <laughs> We're happy. Six hundred breezy ain't coming home that easy neither. I swear to God, six hundred breezy went to jail longer than butter every state he had. Butter can't get 600 minutes in jail. Butter got a number nobody got. Like, I got locked up. He just calling from, he just hitting a 492 jump. They just straight letting him out. No paperwork, no nothing. We had just deal with it. Put it on a docket. You saying he telling? I ain't saying he telling. I'm saying he told. Fuck you mean? Telling is past tense. Told is what he did. Oh, so he already in the meeting. 100%. He the hottest nigga in Chicago. And I put a stamp on it. He know that. His man know he hot. 
His man just gave him a block of cheese in the YouTube caption. We did, we did, we did that. We did that. Wait, 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 Let's wait, start wait. there. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, and one more thing. Hold on. Before you go, but one more thing and another thing. You get all this motherfucking money you left your grandmother on the block, a nigga can spend? You crazy. <laughs> Ain't nobody grandma leaving, though. Let, Granny's no, ain't trying to leave. Right, my mother won't leave. My mother won't leave. My mother's 60. She won't leave. She ain't so leave. So why are you telling right. them shorties in D.C. pushing that narrative? Put, um, go slap, go slap. Granny got to walk on that block. These kids got to walk on that block. Not in D.C., just Chicago. You telling them, so, so you just fucking up our shit? Yes. Hey, yo, ass back home. Sean, <laughs> sure, what time is playing? We know, we, Let's start this. Send his ass back to DC we, with the bullshit. We and know y'all for killing, killin', bro. It's the rack. It's like called the rack. Like the rack. The rack with the war at when that Iraq, the war. It's like killing, killing, killing. That's what y'all know killing. Now y'all not killing. Like we only know y'all for killing. Y'all ain't killing. We don't want to hear it. Don't, don't, don't get us, don't get us twisted. Motherfuckers still die. Photo still out there sliding. Thank but thank we you, trying brother. to bring the narrative down to that. It's All too right. many phonemes. We need home. doctors and nurses and, and teachers and whoop mans and shit. Bro. I'm going to stay out of it because them Chicago politics. For you, I'm going to stay out of it. From now on, I'm just going to stay out of it. But I'm going to let you know, from D.C. side, O Block here belt the ass to you boys. I'm talking about belt the ass. I, okay, put it like this. Put it like this. Did 63rd not put belt the ass to O Block? How many niggas from over there did? We would it's know. vice versa. It's a war. It's a war. Nobody won, and Glizzy paid the fuck attention, gang. And nobody will ever win that shit, bro. That man ain't popping this shit on his ass, though, bro, my soul. I'm glad how he just made it sound like that instead of getting offended to be like, nah, we fucking them boys. You know, he ain't getting too, he ain't, he not letting his emotions, he controlling his emotions, bro, on some real shit. All right. Pay the fuck attention. If nobody won. Nobody won. Nobody, won. nobody fucking won, I'm bro. I'm tell you this one thing. I promise you Talk. this whole room know this Talk. and all our viewers know this. Talk. If we go to Chicago and they ask us where we from, we all get screaming out loud to say where we not from. We ain't from where, y'all. As long as everybody know that, bro, we ain't from that motherfucker. <laughs> they put that motherfucker on a P level, like that motherfucker internationally known for being birdie. Hold on, wait, wait, what that fuck? What you know? I'm, birdie me like a sweet ass block, like that Jones. Like I'm talking about. No, 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 no. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna just no, no. When Vaughn said, do your homework on why Vaughn was saying we not from sixty third. Do your homework on who is Vaughn friend? Who, who, who is, who is Vaughn best friend? Do you understand why Vaughn hated sixty third? Do you even understand the fucking story? Like, are you one sided or did you watch the whole shit, bro? Like this shit I get fucked it. up. Vaughn was here. Y'all was quiet. Vaughn died. You popped up. You about say it was series quiet. Box. Well, you say it was quiet. When Vaughn died. You popped up about that woos box. I ain't see you before Vaughn. I damn sure see you after. Bro, no disrespect to what's going on, bro. I'm pushing the piece, bro. I was dissing Vaughn before and after. Millions of views like, too. Like M millions, millions of views, views bro. Like your uh, ass is tweaking. I ain't see it. But put it like this. That's besides the point, bro. Cause I was fucked up in the head at that time. I was Aunt Glizzy. So I'm right here. That's I'm a YouTuber. I don't be outside. I ain't no videos with no guns. But you I ain't in no game. But the I'm not character a BD or GD. That, but the character that you portray is a, a GD, a BD, a stone. And all of them. I sent you on this bitch crip one time. I was like, what the fuck? I'm not a crip. I never I don't even know what a crip is. But I sent you whooping. Hey, that, that ain't whooping. That was whooping. I don't even know what that is. I never seen a crip before a day in my life, bro. I'm not a crip. But you had on the whoop. Uh, that's a bandana. That's and like a, when J Main got on the Dr. J Main outfit. You a Dr. J Main? Let's start there. No, that's not really that. That's a bandana and a blue shirt that some guys call day uniform. That's really a bandana <laughs> and a blue shirt in America. Like, that's not no crip shit. That's a bandana and a blue shirt in the real world. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Hold on. <laughs> this nigga is retired. I'm a professional. I do this on the P level. I got to answer the question for everything. So, look, let's break the. You probably know Vistaprint for business cards. <laughs> oh, my soul. It's like you want to just be serious with them, but you can't, bro. Back to the He probably uh, got his uh, he probably got his teachers hell in school, bro. Um, we not from 63rd statement that Vaughn was making. Bro, when Niggas Vaughn, I was Vaughn said, it. put it like this, Vaughn slow like me, bro. We all from the same area. Let's just be real. All of us grew up around the same area, bro. Like how you say you can walk over there, right? And go kill somebody, right? If that's what you want to do. Do your homework on how Vaughn was. He played too much. We not from 63rd. He playing with that shit. You catch my drift? He playing with that shit, but vice versa. Is that really how he feel? Do your homework on Vine. Used to be on 63rd, gang. Do I do I gotta go there? But you don't know this. You from DC? I'll just keep telling you that we wouldn't even know just who 63rd open. was without Vaughn, bro. Like literally, Vaughn made 63rd. Vaughn ain't. Made I don't know who 63rd is without Vaughn. Vaughn Alley Hoops 63rd. I've been said this um, probably like a year or two ago on on Sean. On, on I didn't know what 63rd was until Vaughn. I don't think he. I don't think he did. That's just me though. Maybe what maybe he talking about like on the like I he, he probably talking worldwide shit. Like worldwide. Cause everybody knew who knew, you know. Which I'm assuming is the city, so 
All right, worldwide, did y'all get so huh? Um, probably like a year or two ago on on Sean. On, on I didn't know what sixty third was in Tuvon though. I swear to God, I didn't know nothing. Von Alley Hoop sixty third, Von did, but he ain't know what he was doing. Let's start there. On Von, I know what he was doing to turn the sixty third up. Now you see J Main right here, big as hell. Let's Von go up. harder than y'all though. What you mean? How? How? What? What? What the fuck, kids? The King Von say. I can uh. What kid? Name one. You. Name one. You. Name one. You. How Von say, J Man? If you ain't connected to this old block King Von shit and all that and all that, you ain't who you is today. First of all, Von, put it like this. Without Duck Death, where was you? Still be the J Man in Chicago. Hmm. Without Duck Death? I'm saying the Duck Death I King Von shit, that shit I took me to before, the next level. I moved, I been moved from Chicago before Von died, before Duck died, was you famous before, before a lot before of that? niggas died. Was you famous before that situation? He said they wanted to hear you talk after Duck died. Yeah, they, talk, they, they started listening to you after you that. You started telling the stories. I mean, I started. You been telling them stories, no, nobody cares. No, I didn't, that's a lie. You said that's you been dissing Von before, I'm um, listening to his words. I was doing music. You critique that's, his own Is it a difference between music and blogging? Is it a difference between music and blogging? Is it a difference between he music and blogging? Is it a difference between I'm music saying. and blogging? What the fuck is you talking about, gang? Just saying. Music and blogging is two different things, gang. No, it's not really. It's just an expression. One come with a beat and one don't. It's really the same thing. Jay, man, I wanted to ask you because we haven't spoke since uh, the trial. Uh, the O Block Six was found guilty. Yeah. Did you celebrate? Butter did. Was it? Uh... <laughs> Yellow did. <laughs> <laughs> so. Was it like a victory? Let me break this shit down. King Yellow popped the bottom. Now, the O Block Six got found guilty. I was in the Bahamas when that popped up on my phone, Sean. Do your homework on J Main being in the Bahamas and seeing that the O Block Six got locked up. Was I celebrating for that? Nah, I was celebrating my fucking daughter's birthday, the shit that I be focused on. But I seen it pop up on my phone. I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. Um, six black men um, lives has been taken to this system. Damn, they let them people get them again. Damn, that's how that shit played out. Vice versa. I'm damn, my homie, he gone. Damn, his family, his mama. I'm seeing, I'm seeing them. Can't tell his mama how to feel. His mom, his mama happy that shit happened. You can't tell Mama Duck how to feel. Shit, this a woman. She a citizen. It hit different. Y'all can't blame this woman for for twerking when after after the. People who killed her son died. That's how, that's how black women celebrate. They twerk. This is 2024. Hmm. They twerk. twerk. She was twerking? You move. They twerk. You they twerk. This 2024. Mama, Mama, Mama Duck. Up. Mama Duck, you wrong for this. You move. No, 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 no. Machina, you wrong for this. You move no, 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 the goal no, no. so you can be right sometimes. I realize that. Hold on, say it one more time. <laughs> you move the goal. Say like if you kick a field goal. Yeah. You might miss the field goal, but you're going to make yourself make it. Like you're going to move it all the way to his right for you. Like that's what you do. Nah, she, wrong, she wrong for twerking, though. Her, his mother started only fan after she died. <laughs> Low key, he doing the same fucking shit, bro. He just talking fast as hell, bro. You know they say never trust a fast talking ass nigga, bro. Like that's already a red flag. He died. That's disrespectful to him as a man, as a mother. My mother started only fan after I died and gunned down the street. That's disrespectful. No, no, no. She showed me her only fans. I don't think she's fucking on her. You over? She tricked the system. You doing your? She started it. You got a whole bunch of scribes. You brought him here without doing his homework. I never seen no ass. Give me a book bag and a pencil. I'm giving you a book bag and a pencil. You got to do your homework. And your mother gonna use your name for only fan clout. Yeah, how we get? Yeah, to make the money, dummy. Bro, whoa, 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 gang, gang, gang. No, 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 no. You just say my mama can make only fan. So you niggas ain't dying. If she's not fucking on that, what's the point? I'm subscribed. Let me stop it. Let's make his mama money. She's not fucking on her. Let's miss the bro. Let me just tell y'all about it. Let me tell y'all about a real nigga. If I die, my mother gonna have more than four hundred thousand dollars in cash because that shit. She uh, what's that shit called? A state attorney on my fucking money. The bank, the bank gonna call her with that fucking cash. She don't need no OnlyFans. But it's a lot of money. His mother with no money. But it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of niggas that died in the money situations was fucked up, man. I hear him. He just says some real shit. He just says some real shit. No, basically, y'all get y'all shit together so y'all mama can be straight. But I don't, I think, I don't think Duck, just on the outside looking in, me guessing and shit, I don't think Duck was touching, was touching that type of bread, let alone his mind wasn't there yet type shit. But that's, that's what's up there, folks. And Glizzy got his shit together for his mama, though. He ain't gonna lie. Niggas in the streets, if you got money, shit, even like with takeoff death, bro, that was fucked up to see that. Um, what they had said that that shit wasn't in order. A lot of people don't even be thinking to go do it. I'm pretty sure if you if Duck would have really really thought about it, he probably would have had some bread put up for his mama though. Like most people, bro. 
That's we from the right, but we ain't never had shit. Bro. Nigga, we from the bottom. You just I'm said, from the we looking at, nah, you I'm ain't from the bottom. I'm from the gutter. I'm from the bottom. If you was from the bottom. Ah, that's crazy. You see Sean record. This is the, the, uh, the short, the uh, YouTube short, I see, I mean, the story, Instagram story. That's crazy as fuck. They was laughing and fecting on this shit. Bottom. You just said, we looking at, nah, you I'm ain't from the bottom. bottom. I'm from the gutter. I'm from the bottom. If you was from the bottom, bro, you wouldn't even be talking about 63rd like this. I come from the bottom, bro. I come from the bottom, bro. We from under there. Come on, bro. Under there, under the wood. We from under the wood. You was on top of the wood. You was really on top of the wood. You light skin. Do your homework, bro. Do your homework. Why you call him yellow? Do you, do your homework. <laughs> you call him do your homework <laughs> on barber kids, bro. Okay. You gotta do break your homework on barber kids, bro. Break like, this shit down. I can't really break it down though, bro. I ain't really nothing to break down, bro. I'm from Washington, DC, bro. You just gotta come in and see that shit in your face. Like you gotta see that shit for yourself. That shit ain't the White House. I ain't never seen the president, bro. Consider that New Year's <laughs> resolutions. <laughs> yeah, folks said, no, you know how to talk, bro. I wonder who. Now I want to see like him versus Charleston White just just talking, just see it, cause he might be somebody who could out argue, out question, out answer Charleston White, bro. This shit crazy. Yeah. That was so you life. from Washington DC and you're oh, Washington DC. Not one, one president. I can tell you a nigga out of my house, he done beat four bodies in court. He just get like locked up for shooting a shootout with the feds. A nigga that's out of my house, like he done beat four bodies in court. I'm talking about the last seven years he beat four back to back to back seven years of his life, like a double, a two more, just throwing bodies on him. His body out the body out the body, like real live, bro. I've lived with the grave digger, bro. The whole city know that. The world know that, bro. The police know that. You know that now, bro. That's what I'm telling you, bro. This shit ain't no movie. This shit ain't no facade, bro. They don't have no good jobs. I'm talking about they the biggest. No good jobs out there. Ain't even no such thing as no job. Nobody ain't gonna fuck about no job. I mean, no... you can go watch the president call or something. Yeah, the president, you can't get near the president. I've never seen I the think president. The White and your name is too job. big for you to be yeah. preaching this shit to yeah, these kids, nah, bro. I'm not, this platform I'm too not big preaching for you to be nothing. preaching this shit. I'm just letting you know. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I got a gangster ass brother. The whole world know he gangster. He locked up right now. That's what the fuck gangsters do. That's where the fuck gangsters go. Harriet Tubman ain't that for this shit, eh? He was Look at my shirt. Bro, Harriet Tubman was on the run. Fuck is you talking about? You, the, the Underground Railroad, she was on the run. She ain't that for this for you to be over whooping and, and sending our kids off that this. prison. He was a gangster. Then you only trying to send the Chicago he, kids off. He was a bogus. gangster. You ain't even fucking he up went, DC he like that. He went to jail for being a gangster. I got some friends that was in the streets. They was robbers. They went to jail for being robbers. I got friends that died in the streets. They was killers. That's what the fuck come with it. That's they destiny. That's what the fuck they gonna be. If you made it this far, fuck with you. Now tell me, if you from DC or you really know Aunt Glizzy or you know you've been following Aunt Glizzy since he came out or whatever. I know there's stories out there about him. Was he ever a street nigga? Was he ever out there? Or was he just to himself? Because the way he coming off is like, he was never a street nigga. He was never really in the street. Yeah, he probably niggas knew him, but he wasn't never really in the street. I don't, I don't know. Let me know. But if you made the five fuck with you for real, you're real. That's what comes with. That's all they know. That's all they know. They ain't tripping no. off of it or nothing. I get that. I that's get what it. I'm saying. So if that's what you on, that's what you on. We ain't about to jump around in videos like this, J Main, J Main. Yeah, that John rocks. So make sure you say King Von dead, man. Go ahead, put all that shit in there. Man, let's go shoot the video for that Joe. Ooh, your ass dying now. Your shit like damn. I'm about to go hang with Sean Cotton. Like, get the fuck out of here. You better hop out a free car or something. I'm talking about you going to hang with Sean. You over whooping. Hmm. Go, yeah, that type of life. You can't hop out there. So life. you don't believe that niggas could change their life around? You and could. Not at that point, though. Like, it's the point when you change So you it. telling you telling me, nah, you can't, switch your, you can't switch your life over to God at a certain time. Bro, I believe in God, bro. You cannot. At any time. Bro, I feel like y'all. Motherfucker told me you can walk in the church at any time. God going to welcome you. Bro. You telling me just not out the King Why the Bond fuck I? then y'all walk in there with duck? Y'all walk in there after the duck? Like, y'all rolled the shit. Duck? Yeah, y'all could have walked in there with him. Like, before that shit happened. How you know Duck wanted to go to church? Um, you just. But what about the niggas that died before Duck, like he said, bro? What about them niggas, bro? If that was the case, like, let's just say after, like, Tuka, bro, it should have it should have it should have stopped. But a lot of niggas was killed, bro. So at any time, you would never be able to stop because you always going to have to avenge somebody's death. That's what he's not getting. That this shit don't stop to where, no, it's niggas that duck probably want to avenge, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it just, no, nah, at one point, y'all going to have to be like, all right, man, I'm tired. Of, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. So let's just... 
Tell the other side, or you know what I'm saying, just cool, cool this shit down. Cause we, wanted, you don't even know though. He wanted to go to war, and you niggas went to YouTube. That's what I'm saying. He wanted to go to war. He was ready to die for this shit. Y'all wasn't. That's why y'all got out that shit. Doug was ready to die for this shit. He died for that shit. Y'all didn't. He was ready to die for that shit. I think he was just going to get closed, and motherfuckers ran up and killed him. That's what happened. He was ready to die. I don't believe that he was ready to die. No, for I'm not saying ready to no, die. Hey, no, on some real shit though, like, and I ain't really know Doug too good, but when I did speak to him, he was like one of the smart. Niggas out out of everything. It's a viral video going around about whom uh, about him, about pushing peace. Man, this was for this was I, three now years I feel like I, now I feel like I'm being trapped. You're they, not being it's trapped. It's a lack of politics on oh, my mother. You're not being trapped. I'm not gonna disrespect Duck. I'm not disrespecting him. But y'all y'all giving out too much credit, bro. How the fuck is he a smart ass nigga? He beeping with thirty million dollar niggas. He took one girl and a motherfucking nigga in a single car with no tinted windows down the fucking Gulf Coast with a fucking ghost gun on him. You think that's smart? That's a smart nigga moving. That's a nigga that's moving smart with a brain. Come on, man, y'all better make it make sense. That was some trash dummy, stupid shit. I bitch, I be, I believe he should have left. Shit Chicago. was stupid. All so, ten of y'all. That, that was dumb. Your ass should have been. We all think that shit, bro. Chicago. Your ass should have been down there with him. Ten other niggas should have been down there with him. Y'all should have went to the store, got the shit. That's man, what, what you do with your man's side? Let's start that. This what I did. I heard you. Ain't do I shit. went in the house because Boy, I looked. I, I looked at my team. I had a butter. I had a J Main. I had a yellow. I had you niggas. I said fuck that. I quit before I go be this real ass nigga. I am. I be you. Getting an LLC for your business doesn't have to. Low key, that was a good ass question though, Jay, man. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like, you stay saying what we should have did. What the fuck you do? But then that's what shit should be seeming disrespectful. And he basically sounded like he just went to YouTube. Like, he's saying Jay Man and them just did, bro. I was able to set up every YouTuber like you niggas. Yeah. So you did the same shit that no, they actually it's we deep, wasn't. It's deep, Jay, man. It's, it's deep. It's deep. It's deep. deep. It's deep. It's deep. So you, you sending these it ain't too late. It ain't too late. You sending these tears up and you. We you whooping like that? We you whooping though, like bro. that? Like, first of all, once you sign up for the GDs or BDs, that shit is GD, BD no, to the bro, day you die. No, bro, in Chicago, you just born and you I just been in the gang game. You, when you, when you, you in Chicago, see, game, when you, just some you just, shit we created, like some, when you from Chicago, a game. Game, you, just, <laughs> no game. you know what, you know what a gang is? Game? A gang is niggas that out doing gang shit. We don't do no gang shit. We ain't shooting no niggas. We ain't robbing no niggas. We ain't selling no drugs. We ain't doing nothing. Nigga go to the studio. But still an organization. Wait, didn't y'all okay, rob Chief Keef? Wait, didn't y'all rob Chief Keef? Nobody robbed a Chief Keef, nigga. Shout at his ass. No robbery. Get that the fuck out like of here. That sounds like a game to me. That's defending the turf. Nigga come down here bluffing. It's <laughs> a <laughs> game. <laughs> now you got, you got <laughs> moved off. Move? Yeah, tell me what I want to say, bro. He moving that motherfucker. Yeah, his ass. He talking himself into a motherfucking circle, bro. In oh, go, no, folks. You made yourself right. <laughs> bro. You have moved off. A uh, nigga is getting into it with you. He come to your city. What the fuck is you gonna do? That's, but that's the game. I'm in the fucking streets. How many, how many people got this last night in You keep talking. I don't know them people. Like eight? That's the game. You keep talking eight is 80. I don't know them people. I don't know them at all. I don't be with them all around. I don't even be with the nigga Shy. The, the, the whoever the so fuck. So once you is. change your name? I don't. What the fuck do you see Ann Glizzy at? This is Barbersun TV. Hello. My oh. shit say the real Barbersun. You don't see Ann Glizzy nowhere. Y'all just talking that shit. What the fuck do you see Ann Glizzy at? Show me. When you, you don't the see title of your video say Ann Glizzy. The title of what video? That's a caption. Mm. Yeah, when, when I put, when I Google the name, <laughs> this going, nigga it's silly. Facebook, it's cool. That's the Google. I'm not a Google. You can Google my network too. That shit don't mean So nobody, name. so nobody own the name Aunt Glizzy? I do. I own the name Bob or son. I own the name Bob or son. Forget the Aunt Glizzy name. That shit trademarked by 300. Mm -hmm. The Glizzy name, period. 300. Uh, so you were signing, so you signed the mm -hmm. 300? I was never signing 300. Shaw was signing 300 and the Glizzy game was, I wasn't like, I wasn't a part of his, his shit to sign no papers. They wouldn't be able to own me anyway. I was never under no written contract. It wasn't no, wasn't nothing. That shit was like me and my homeboy. There's some shit called Slutty Boys. Like some guys called Slutty Boys. They like a group of people. It was like flat out boys, like groups of guys that get fly, like dressing and get females, that type of shit. Y'all talking about like a gang, like on some gangster shit, guns and no, fuck no. Niggas was 12 years old. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> uh. <laughs> like what? I fuck them in a gang at 12. Like I run a gang at 12, okay. So Shy Glizzy uh, tricked the whole world. It ain't need tricked the whole world. It's I like, thought I thought I thought y'all was some vicious gangsters from DC. It's a nigga who I'm the gangster. He's still my image. Mm. I'm the I'm that's so he the, rapping, so that, he rapping that's about the your reason life. he mad at me. That's the reason we get into it. That's the reason that. So he rapping about your And go life. do your homework. Chicago came there. Ask, I run the ass right back to Chicago, bro. I don't just be talking. Ooh. See, he on that's what I'm saying. He give now he get he on street baby shit. Just right do up. your homework, bro. You missed the do your homework. They're gonna have a whole fucking pocket for you. <laughs>
<laughs> they gonna have a packet of homework. A whole for, fucking oh, packet oh, of homework. Hey, Lizzie running niggas oh, out of Chicago. Mama. Out of Chicago niggas out of DC. Do your homework. The packet <clears throat> gonna come. It's gonna say Uncle Buckets. You understand why they call me Uncle Buckets? I drop buckets wherever I go. That shit can go down. I don't give a fuck. That, that story tell. I'm not no gangster, bro. I'm not no super tough guy. This nigga. I'm more friendly and funny than anything, though, bro. But I just get in my own world. I just so talk wait, my you, shit. You saying Shock Lizzy was rapping your life? I ain't gonna say rapping my life, but like, the, I don't know, like, I'm the image of that shit for real. Like, I can't really explain it. It's like, I got a friend, he not the gangsterest guy in the world, but this is my friend. So whatever I got gonna roll over to him and whatever he got gonna roll over to me. I'm just, I'm moving how he moving. Mm -hmm. Like he going to places, he going to clubs and shit. So let's go back on this. The whole Diddy situation went viral about Diddy allegedly doing things at parties. And you was in the studio with, with Wale and Shaq Glizzy? Yeah. And Diddy, take us take us back through that whole story. All right. Take I'm, us through that day. Yeah, I'm, take us through that day. All right, I'm with Shaq. I don't got no money. I'm broke as shit. Like, I'm broke as shit. I ain't got no money. I'm trying to get a sandwich or something. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm trying to get a sandwich. But he's like, nah, bro, we about to go to the studio. We gonna eat when we get there or something, because we couldn't stop. He had to go meet Wale. Long story short, he linked up with Wale. Shaq does. Yeah, Shaq okay. linked up with Wale, but. I'm with Shaq. Like, if Shaq going somewhere, how can I explain? I'm with him. Like, I'm, I'm with him to make sure he all right. Like, this, is my, this is my best friend. He going to be all right. We going to be all right. Ride together. We going to die together in this motherfucker. So we going, we going. Wale ended up going to the studio. Before we got to the studio, Wale told us we about to be around Cassie. That he does not like guys around her talking to her, looking some weird shit. We getting prepped. I'm not really getting prepped. He, Shaq getting prepped. And so why bring her ass outside? But all right. And like, but I'm listening, like he talking like to us both, but more so to him. So we get to the studio. Like he should've just left her where she was at. You putting her in a position for niggas to talk to her. You probably ain't gonna address the nigga. You might, I don't know Diddy, but you probably, if you don't address the nigga, you gonna go home, you gonna beat shit out of Cassie, make it like, you the reason these niggas talking to you when you need to just keep her ass out the mix, bro. Make her ass stay in the crib, bro. Go do her own thing, bro. Who the fuck Cassie is, I don't know who this girl is. I don't know nothing. I just know it's a girl in the studio and Wale, they back there, but they in the booth part. It's like a booth and we on the outside part. They in the booth, like back there. We can't really see them, but you can see through the blinds and shit. I know this girl is Cassie because we just got prepped before we walked in here. Cassie, so this gotta be the girl he talking about. At the end of the day, she look, she ain't no bum ass young. She look like a, a, a famous person. I don't know what's going on or nothing. I told you, I see some, I see some scroll niggas hit the door. Boom, I'm talking about we was in there about 45 minutes though. We was chilling, we was already in there, niggas chilling like, we didn't already fill out the vibes, it's cool. Some scroll niggas hit the door. I seen the two scroll niggas, but the way they was moving, I can see that it wasn't meant for me. It's like, nah, that shit ain't, need, that shit ain't for us. But I seen a hat and I can look and I know like, man, that's Diddy. They walk straight to the back. I swear to God, they walk straight to that back through that jump. Then the, then the blinds, the blinds shut. Now look at that shot. He looked at me. We walked up like to the blinds to see what we could see a little bit, but we waited for a minute. We didn't go straight to the blinds. <laughs> we waited for a minute. We only start looking when we hear the do all you hear is shit touching shit, like shit touching shit, but you it ain't really no too loud. Yeah, this type of shit, yeah. So now you know me, I'm gonna be nosy. Shout like, man, what you see? Like, come on, man. And then we over there, we just looking shit. So we see it. I swear to God. It's a balcony outside the studio. Like, I guess they smoke right there or something. Feet, and I know these, I've seen Wale shoes. I walked in this man with him. I've been with him all day, bro. I don't see him, I just. This ain't never the Wale story, bro. See feet, it's feet and over. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Boom, I did we see it. We run, we me and Shia run back and act like we ain't know nothing. But they come back out. Cassie left, what did he? Like, they left. Wale ain't come out. Wale came out like an hour later. I swear the guy came out sweaty as shit, jacked up. Like, I'm like, that shit was an hour ago. Why the fuck your shirt still crooked? Like, his shirt still crooked, he's sweaty as shit. Like, he ain't know. But he didn't talk to us about it. Like, that's not how you come out and be like, man, did he did it? He didn't say nothing to us about it. Like, it was like, one of the, it was one of like, y'all yeah. ain't seen nothing. Nice. Cause I don't think he think, I don't think he think we ran up there and looked through the joke. Gee, is it other proof of this? Cause this is a crazy ass story for this shit to happen, bro. We look, we heard all that uh going on in there. Shot play like he was at the bathroom. He didn't know what the fuck going on, but yeah, that happened. But when I told the story, bro, I wasn't telling the story to even put Wale in it. Wale just was the person who got hung off the balcony. I was really telling it to go up off the Diddy and Cassie joke. It wasn't meant for Wale. But you see that shit went viral. You see he ain't denied. Did he deny? He mm -hmm. started talking in riddles. This is how you know when shit happened to niggas. Niggas start talking about something. Because if God sent the messengers to put out a false image nerd if I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? Did you get hung off a balcony or not? <laughs> what was the problem? Like, why would he do that to Wale, bro? Like, what's the, that shit crazy. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> they start talking in codes. <laughs>
I'm like, man, the hell? Damn. And then the day after that, the whole Cassie Diddy shit uh, was clo- the case was closed. I'm the best that ever did this shit. I co- All right, boom. I seen the report. What did it say? It say Diddy. It say Diddy being Diddy suing Cassie. I didn't see no. I didn't see no. Uh, I didn't read the court shit. I can't read anyway, so I ain't read the court shit. I just seen like the headline. <laughs> boom. I call him off the break. It's like nine o'clock at night. We gotta make the video right now. Like, bro, come to my house right now, bro. I gotta tell this Diddy story, uh, Diddy, and uh, uh, Diddy and Cassie. I gotta tell this story. I never said nothing about Wale. I said, man, Wale got hung off the balcony. He like, all right, man, I'm gonna pull up. I hung up. He called back like, nah, man, I'm coming to get that story right now, man. We doing it right now. I was like, man, we can do that on tomorrow for real. He like, nah, I'm coming right now. He ended up pulling up on me. He pull up. We make the story. I told him, I said, bro, this gonna do hundred thousand one day. He dropped that joint, that joint did like 70,000 one day. Mm. I swear to God, that joint made the news. My grandmother called me, it made the news. Like, did local DC news? I can pull that shit up right now. That shit made local DC news. Every blog, every everything. Mm. But it wasn't even that deep though. Like, I wasn't even trying to expose. <laughs> Man, you just holding up. <laughs> hey, you silly as hell, bro. I gotta eat these, these, I gotta be peaceful. Be peaceful. <laughs> yeah. be peaceful. None of that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Who's that? You think you think That's DC like, worse than Chicago right now? Fuck no. Invisible You don't think DC worse? <laughs> I'm gonna say DC turned up, but I ain't gonna one reason I ain't say it's worse than Chicago. Cause I seen like a Chicago video, it was like some These niggas are silly, bro. A basketball game, and he was like, man, I got a Glock 26. And he was like, man, I got a 27. It was like 50 guns. I seen that shit. In a gym. Well, I know rapper blew up. I said, what the fuck? Well, rapper blew up right there. No, uh, so I don't I don't know. But DC, DC turn it's small. It's smaller than Chicago though, but on a level with it being small, they definitely turned up, but I don't preach that shit neither, though. I don't be a YouTuber, y'all. I ain't on the streets. I'm not even in the streets. I'm out the streets. I live in the... We're going to plan B. Okay. Hey, I be fucking with the YouTube shit. YouTube, this shit getting so damn big. I feel like it's going... That's why I don't think it's motherfucker really making nothing on YouTube no more, for real, bro. Like... You got to really be doing them numbers to make it. Or you got to figure out how to use YouTube to make money with YouTube. If that shit, like, get sponsors and shit like that, bro. That's what, like, the money at, the the ads and all that. That's something I learned from, like, Gilly and Wallow. Like, that's real important. People get annoyed with ads, but that's how you get it. And I ain't talking about the YouTube ads. I'm talking about how they be, like, in this video, sponsors. Yeah, this is the same shit, bro. To get the real money. I walk my dogs, bro. And walk. But real quick. He had a following already, so it's, it's easy for him to say that because he gonna do, if he could do a hundred thousand, that's a good ass check, bro. Like that's a good check. That's what you mean. I, I just think the change. world couldn't adapt to the DC flow, that offbeat flow. They got a lot of style. They got a lot of you know, got, so I don't rap like that though. I don't rap that flow. It's like yeah. it's, it's like they don't get they don't get the recognition they get because at the end of the day, the White House does. I like so it. The, think wor- so? the world outside of niggas know if, how real DC is. But if you've never bro. been to DC, you'll think it's niggas know about but DC in the eighties and the nineties. If you've never been to DC, you'll think it's the suburbs. Nah, people know nah, about DC no. in the eighties and the nineties. They don't bro. understand that. If, uh, Want me to tell you why you wouldn't think DC is the suburbs? The average fourteen-year-old and say you want to go where the White House is. You never been to the feds, gonna, have you? They know. Uh, yeah, I can tell. They, they, they'll <laughs> never bring their gun. They, they'll never think they going to be going to where the White House. If you go to the federal penitentiary, you would never think of DC as the suburbs. Them niggas you gonna be locked up with, you ain't gonna never wanna be around them niggas again. Now I heard though, listen, nigga told me they don't bring my chain because that's how DC niggas do is rob. I don't rob, I ain't crummy, I ain't no snake. Rob, they said the rappers. Oh no. You try to rob Chief Keith, nigga. Nah, you keep talking on, about man. rob Chief Keith. That man was not on, first of all, Chief Keith was just now coming up. I ain't trying to rob that. no motherfucking Chief Keith. You for Chief Keith, you wrong for that. I really do, I still do to this so day. Why you try to rob him? I told you to get into him a homeboy. I gotta stand on the business. I gotta you do what you don't ride, I gotta bro. do what Jay Main and them didn't so do. You did try to ride. I gotta do what Jay Main and them didn't do. I gotta stand on the business for my homeboy. <laughs> so I gotta did. do it for my partner. That's hey, it. Hey, stop putting me a part of that shit. First of all, I'm FYB. Duck was the FBG. Do I gotta go there? Now you did. I got you dissing duck. Do I got you dissing duck? That, a that was nigga a diss. Like I ain't no motherfucking FYB. Don't pay me with that. No, I got 63rd looking at Google now. No, because you you slow and you don't understand <laughs> shit. Like I told you, you don't understand Chicago politics. So Remember I told you that shit in the beginning of this interview, like, you stop dissing Duck because of Yella. His ass from 73rd. Duck is FBG. You know how the three letters I got in front of my name? Let's start that. <laughs> so it's okay that? for you to say, tell Butter to do this and shit like that. Let's start that. Do your homework on the J-Main. 
see, you don't understand my story, bro. Like, we'll be here all day. I break my shit down. Do your homework. You heard about J Main being BD and shit like that? You ever heard that? No. You ain't heard that? You, you, you know what they is on 63rd, right? You ain't did your homework, bro. I think, yeah, I think BD's on 63rd, G's on O Block. So you don't even understand the politics, so long story short, you shouldn't even get in that shit. Ain't got shit to so do with why you. the fuck would a Chicago nigga get me on the motherfucking camera and say my name like I ain't gonna come defend myself? I told you, I do what you should have did for Doug. I defend myself in every situation. That's how I got here. So put it like this. You thinking defending yourself against King Yellow on the internet is, what the fuck is that, bro? This that shit ain't getting you nowhere. It did, Stop bro. Whooping. I make $50,000 damn You made $50,000 off of this and King Yellow. Not King Yellow, but it's a part of it. It's a part of the formula. How it goes with the formula. How much you get off this and King Yellow? I can't really put it just him I'm, alone. How much you make for this and King Yellow? Let's start oh, that. No. I know I made more than twenty thousand dollars on King Yellow by itself though. I See, probably made I more than twenty thousand dollars on King Yellow. I this is ass. I ain't make twenty k. I, I got a whole diss song got to get to that. <laughs> That's music. Music don't get you nothing. Music. So I should have diss him on the internet, yeah. like on. YouTube. I can't give out the sauce. I can this give you the sauce behind the behind the scenes. Yeah, I can't YouTube, give out the free game YouTube, right you, now. You, you, call, you called now. me and gave me the now. I that's gave you the like, woo. Yeah, you gave me a woo. That's why you see my what I just showed yeah, you. That's why I'm like, that's oh, what yeah, I told I still you. Ain't doing something right. I told you yeah, you gotta yeah. do what I told you from the beginning, bro. Yeah, yeah. You do what I told you from the beginning. Even if you do it, even if you do it for three months, it's gonna put you so far ahead. You can go back to doing what you was doing. You don't got a dog I'm like what I told you the dog. I do it though, bro. They gonna watch regardless. Get it's it cool while you to see y'all together. Uh, you know, y'all are like the y'all two Charleston White. Um Y'all are like the top three, like guys. No, all jokes aside, though, I like Jay Main though. Like, I'm, 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 bro, I'm perfect. Like this, that, that's why I wish the camera was off. The camera was off. I throw this whole character away and be like, Jay Main, fuck that shit. We don't even gotta talk about Duck. Like, we gotta sit right here and talk about. It. I don't even want to talk about it for I real. Well, so I'm just gonna be on it. So you think YouTube is bigger than any street niggas and dope dealers? Yeah, YouTubers make more money. I was just at Aiden Ross shit uh, the other day with Charleston Zs. and that shit motivated me, bro. He got a big ass warehouse. So YouTubers are bigger than OGs now. What you mean? You talking money wise or no, just like no, I'm influence? About influence wise, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me a you nigga too. who make forty thousand a month legally. Just to talk. Legal. See, I'm fu I hear them bro, but I'm just a small YouTuber, so <laughs> like small as fuck. So, but you have to be a big YouTuber. Like you have to be big. You have to be Aiden Ross. You have to be Cat. You have to be. Uh, you just gotta do some numbers, bro. Do some numbers and long form content. That shit pay. Why you think Sean Cotton keep putting all these fucking ads on these videos? I'm sitting here, I'm watching the whole thing. Most of y'all watching the whole thing, all type of shit. That's just how it go, bro. Doing it and ain't really getting no views. Even when you get monetized, you're gonna be like, yes, I'm getting monetized. And you're gonna see your first video. If you ain't doing a lot of videos, you're gonna get a dollar. You're gonna get like 70 cents or something like. But th these niggas got names already. That's where they be tricking you at, like. First, you must build you up. You must build you up, bro. You must get you some credibility. Must get you some people who like rocking with you. All type of shit. Whether you do it with music first, however you do it. Really? Without leaving the house. Just to talk, bro. Fuck, this my dream. So you, you create your own <laughs> photo. Yo, bro, the house bro, one thing about do your homework or hurry and tell me. Hey, this was her motherfucking dream. That's why, <laughs> YouTube, hey, YouTube that's why I be telling y'all she died for this shit. YouTube is free. <laughs> hurry and tell me down so, for this so, shit. So YouTube is free. YouTube's or the street or YouTube or the street now. The I miss when it was 50-50. I miss when it was I miss when you still had to go and pass out CDs. I yeah, miss when no 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 no. I miss when you still had to go outside yeah. to get your shit out. Yeah. And then and then I miss when it was half internet. Now it's a hundred percent internet. It's not fifty fifty how it used to be. Like when Mo three was coming up, it was fifty fifty. Now I told somebody yesterday. I said the streets don't exist no more. It uh -uh. don't. The internet's so powerful. niggas don't exist no more. Nope. Y'all really some OGs. I can, I can show you. I can show you something really right some now. Y'all bigger than any OGs. I if know. he was to say something, I was to say something, and he was to say something, our narrative was would like to, to your truth. Yeah. Our three let, put together a lie yeah. or beat your truth. Yeah, I know it would. Just about the internet. That's whoever said it first. Yeah, not even who said it first. It's about who got the biggest platform. The la what's the last? And that's song? why I'm telling you to stop sending these fucking kids off. Yeah, I ain't sending no it. kids. Off. First of all, you want niggas. First of all, you want niggas to go take the stand like butter. That's what the fuck you want them to do. Hell no. You I'm saying the kids, bro. Put it like this. Yeah. Let me break that shit down to you one more time. These kids, listen, these he, kids grow did, up at a young age. He could have made it home every day anyway. He shouldn't have jumped. Who y'all talking about, butter? Yeah. Butter melted. We ain't even talking about him. Right, that's a grown. First of all, butter damn near 30, bro. Like, we not even talking about butter, bro. Butter melted. We talking about to everybody who you speaking to out here, bro. You yeah, the kids. Slide, slide. No, no. Nah, stop telling the gang members. Shit, the gang members got to slap. First of all, them <laughs> gang members need to be in jail. <laughs>
god, I think that's it, but oh no, let me see. Yeah, that's it, bro. Alright, man. Oh uh, shit. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good interview, man. For him to say him putting that character up is crazy. So that this a character, he ain't really like this, huh? He don't really he don't really talk like that or nothing like that, huh? But yeah, they man ain't really saying like he was there to, you know, to address. Which I which I fuck with, man. Um hopefully and Glizzy don't this no more. None of that type shit, bro. But yeah, good ass interview. I fuck with it. I would love to see Ang Glizzy and Charles White together again. I mean together to see how they would act with each other. I think that'd be even funnier. But I just don't think J Man came here for the trolling shit, for the funny shit, for no character shit. He came here to defend his city and his homies and himself. It you all know, just everything. Uh and tell him to stop and try and get Aunt Glizzy to understand why he wrong, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think and catch your on that reaction.